So a surface constraint is a procedural version of Moto's background constraint and it will conform a piece of geometry to the surface of another object. But with it being procedural, it means we can now rig and animate those features. So in this scene I've got a tube and a plane of polygons and what I want to do is create some packaging for this tube. So I'm going to select the, the plane, I'm going to add a surface constraint in the dialog, I need to define the constraint surface, which is the tube, and the mode I've set to half ray. And in half ray mode, it will you can move that object around in the scene, and it'll only conform to the surface of another object as it comes into contact with it. So if I hit OK, and then move this item in item mode, you can see as I drop it down, you can see how it's conforming to the surface. So I'm just going to zero that out so it's on the ground plane. Now notice at the front it's crossing through the geometry a little bit, so I just need to nudge it backwards until those edges catch that surface. There we go. So it's still sitting underneath the surface a little bit, so I'm going to select that surface constraint and increase the offset amount. Just kind of push it out a little bit. And then let's define the polygon type of this plane. So I'm going to make it a subdivision surface. We can thicken it. And then to create the other side, we can mirror it. And there we have our procedural packaging. Now just to show that it is procedural, I can go in and select this tube. And I can move it around and you can see how the packaging is conforming to it now. And I can also, in polygon mode, if I duplicate that, that one over you can see the packaging is still updating. So if we open up the preview renderer and make the uh, packaging transparent you see we've now got some procedural packaging.